The Supreme Court of Kenya has disclosed that it has no jurisdiction to declare a presidential winner in the event a presidential petition stands nullified. In a detailed Supreme Court ruling of a petition filed by the Azimio leader Raila Molodinka and six others, the Supreme Court also noted that there is no law permitting them to declare the removal of an IBC chairperson from office. The Supreme Court noted that they can only dismiss a presidential petition, invalidate a declaration made by the IBC on the results, and declare the results of a presidential election valid or invalid. In a 133-page judgment by the Apex Court dated 26th of September 2022, the court has outlined seven key interventions needed to further entrench the independence of the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, IBC, including protection of the election technology. The Chief Justice Martha Kome led bench have further recommended three key areas they believe will solve the dysfunctionality at the anniversary towers that is constantly undermining the optimal functioning of the IBC. First, on corporate and governance issues, the seven-judge bench has urged Parliament to consider enhancing the statutory and regulatory framework on the separate policy and administrative remit of IBC. Further, IBC is to effect formal internal guidelines that clearly delineate the policy, strategy and oversight responsibility of the chairperson and the commissioners and develop and institutionalize guidelines on how to manage the separation of administrative and policy domains, further the roles of the chairperson and commissioners, as well as the chief executive officer and other staff members and third parties should be clearly set out in both the legislative and administrative roles, the move geared towards avoiding the squabbles between IBC officials just like it was witnessed in the last month's polls between Wafula Chebukati-led team and the Juliana Cherera-led team. On election technology, the seven-judge bench have urged the IBC to restrict access to staff of the IBC. The Supreme Court advised the Electoral Commission to ensure service supporting elections are distinct from those running day-to-day -day internal affairs so as to avoid suspicion from the stakeholders. The seven-judge bench led by Chief Justice Martha Kome noted that the separation of the electoral process from IBC's internal affairs will safeguard the commissions from suits that may arise for breaches of the third-party agreement which may be violated during scrutiny of the elections. Thirdly, on the statutory reforms, the Apex Court has called on the IBC to consider simplifying and restructuring the Form 34A and include a column that accounts for stray ballots. In addition, it may consider having only one section for total valid votes. For the IBC ought to put in place specific mechanisms to allow for special voting as contemplated under Regulations 90 of the Elections Regulations 2012. The court has further recommended governance reforms to further strengthen IBC's institutional framework and create a distinction between the policy and the administrative functions. Moreover, C.J. Martha Kome, Deputy C.J. Philomena Mwilu, Justices Mohamed Ibrahim, Smoky Nwanjala, Njoki Ndogo, Isaac Linaola and William Ouko have taken an issue with some senior advocates who have used inappropriate and insulting language against the court even before the issuance of the detailed judgment. The judges have cautioned the advocates they claim are seeking to use social media to advance their causes. <laughs>